The next launch for Starship is right around the corner, and Elon Musk is teasing February as a possible liftoff month. Here are the latest updates that we know so far. It seems like SpaceX is diving back into the phase of testing how many times they can stack and destack Starship before a launch. This time around, they're playing with Ship 28. Ship 24, which participated in the second flight, had to undergo this process five times before it soared into the skies. With Ship 28, they've already completed two rounds of stacking and destacking. The latest round saw Ship 28 majestically assembled overnight between February 20th and 11th, standing tall for over 24 hours before being disassembled once again. The stacking and destacking routine likely revolves around adjustments to components like the hot staging ring or the quick disconnect arm. Engineers were spotted working on these areas, hinting at tweaks and enhancements being made to ensure optimal performance. On February 13th, live cameras captured the impressive sight of Ship 28 being restacked, signaling progress in the testing phase. But that's not all. A closer examination of pictures from the lift revealed a notable change to Ship 28. Three pipes were incorporated into the base or skirt of the prototype, showcasing SpaceX's iterative design approach. This modification reflects ongoing efforts to refine Starship's design based on lessons learned from previous flights. Speaking of previous flights, the inaugural launch of a full Starship revealed significant design flaws, including issues with onboard fires and the flight termination system. SpaceX responded by enhancing the engine bay purge system, significantly reducing the risk of fire. Lessons from each flight, including the destruction of Booster 7 and Ship 25, have informed subsequent iterations with improvements such as anti-slosh baffles and modifications to prevent the accumulation of excess oxygen. As for the anticipated launch date, Elon Musk's recent comments suggest a potential delay, with the launch now expected to occur three weeks from February 12th, possibly pushing it to early March. However, considering Elon time, we might see Starship take flight in the latter half of March. Despite potential delays, the decreasing time between launches indicates progress in SpaceX's mission to revolutionize rocket production and exploration. Starship has long been a beacon of fascination for space enthusiasts like us, but it's not just us keeping an eye on this colossal spacecraft. The United States military has its sights set on Starship too. The news from early 2024 about the Department of Defense's interest in acquiring Starship for governmental use signals a shift in perspective. While many of us dream of Mars missions and expanding Elon Musk's vision in space, the military sees Starship as a potential asset for its own plans, particularly in terms of national security and rapid transport capabilities. At the recent Space Mobility Conference, the Department of Defense expressed keen interest in Starship's potential to revolutionize national security. SpaceX senior advisor Gary Henry emphasized that while the primary purpose of Starship is to reach Mars, its features have significant implications for military operations, including the ability to rapidly transport cargo and potentially even troops anywhere on Earth in under an hour. The driving force behind Starship's appeal to the military is its unparalleled size, payload capacity, reusability, and rapid turnaround time. Unlike any rocket before it, Starship's ability to land and fly again, coupled with its large payload capacity, makes it a game-changer for military logistics. Imagine containers of supplies sitting in a warehouse, ready to be loaded onto a Starship and launched at a moment's notice, shrinking the time from alert to launch to just an hour. What's more, Starship's fully reusable design means significantly reduced costs compared to existing rockets. SpaceX's current fleet of Falcon 9 rockets has already brought down the cost of flying payloads, but Starship takes cost reduction to a whole new level. Designed to fly up to 100 times and capable of carrying 220,000 to 250,000 pounds to low Earth orbit, Starship could potentially bring the cost of launching payloads down to as little as $9 per pound, making it more cost-effective than traditional military transport methods like the C-17 cargo plane. Another crucial factor in SpaceX's plans for Starship is the frequency of launches. As SpaceX envisions building a massive fleet of spacecraft, including potentially up to a thousand Starships of various variants in the coming years, the launch frequency is expected to increase significantly. The goal is to launch dozens, hundreds, and eventually thousands of Starships each year. However, with such a high launch frequency, SpaceX faces the challenge of infrastructure limitations. Currently, SpaceX has one usable launch tower at Starbase in Texas, but plans are underway to expand their launch facilities. 
Steel girders for constructing additional launch towers at SpaceX's Kennedy Space Center facilities were recently transported to Starbase, indicating preparations for future launches. Additionally, SpaceX is building a Starship launch tower at KSC to accommodate its launch plans. To meet the demands of frequent launches, SpaceX will need multiple launch towers not only at existing sites in Texas, California, and Florida, but potentially at new launch sites as well. This expansion could extend globally, supporting both SpaceX's launch ambitions and the military's interest in point-to-point -point transportation capabilities offered by Starship. Recognizing the need for proliferation along launch sites, both within the continental US and possibly globally, SpaceX and the US military have already taken initial steps toward establishing new launch sites. On February 16th, the US Air Force, in collaboration with agencies like the FAA, NASA, and the US Coast Guard, began conducting environmental impact studies for launch pads dedicated to SpaceX's heavy-class Starship rockets. According to a recent statement from the Space Force, a branch of the US Air Force responsible for space operations, three operations are being considered for additional launch towers for Starship. These proposals are part of ongoing efforts to expand launch infrastructure to accommodate the growing demand for Starship launches. Option 1 involves modifying and utilizing SLC-37 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, while Option 2 entails constructing a new pad, SLC-50, between the current SLC-37 and SLC-40. The third option, no action, would mean no Starship constructions or launches from CCFS. The decision on these options will be deliberated among the agencies in four scheduled meetings in March 2024. This decision-making process highlights the strategic importance of expanding launch capabilities to support Starship operations. As China's space program advances rapidly, with the construction of more launch sites and the development of advanced rocket types, there's a growing awareness within the US military and space community of the need to maintain pace and even surpass China's advancements. During a conference, Space Force Intelligence Analyst Chief Master Sergeant Ronald Lurch highlighted China's efforts to catch up with the US in space exploration. China has been building more launch sites and advancing its rocket technology, including plans for completely reusable rockets like the Long March 9, which could significantly reduce the cost of launching payloads. This technological competition between the US and China extends beyond space exploration to geopolitical tensions, particularly concerning Taiwan. The US military sees the ability to rapidly deliver resources and personnel to the Indo-Pacific region where much of the world's economic activity occurs as crucial for maintaining stability and deterring potential adversaries. Starship's potential for rapid transportation and its ability to change the strategic calculus for adversaries in the region is seen as a significant advantage for the US military. While overcoming technological challenges remains a priority, there is confidence among experts that successful demonstrations of Starship's capabilities are on the horizon, signaling a new era in space exploration and military strategy. In conclusion, the ongoing developments surrounding SpaceX's Starship program and its implications for both space exploration and military strategy underscore a pivotal moment in human history. The convergence of technological innovation, geopolitical dynamics, and commercial interests is reshaping the landscape of space exploration and national security. SpaceX's ambitious vision for Starship encompassing rapid transportation, reusability, and cost-effectiveness has captured the imagination of space enthusiasts and military planners alike. The prospect of launching payloads and personnel anywhere on Earth in under an hour represents a paradigm shift in how we conceive of global logistics and response capabilities. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of spaceflight with its ambitious plans for a vast fleet of starships and the expansion of launch infrastructure, the United States military sees an opportunity to leverage these capabilities to maintain its strategic advantage in an increasingly competitive geopolitical environment. From rapid deployment to the Indo-Pacific region to addressing emerging threats in space, Starship offers a versatile platform with far-reaching implications for national security. However, the rise of China as a formidable space power presents both challenges and opportunities. China's rapid advancements in space technology and infrastructure underscored the need for the United States to remain vigilant and proactive in maintaining its leadership position in space exploration and security. 
the ongoing deliberations regarding additional launch towers for Starship reflect the urgent need to adapt to the evolving space landscape and ensure that the United States remains at the forefront of space innovation. By harnessing the full potential of Starship and other emerging technologies, the United States can not only maintain its strategic superiority, but also foster collaboration and partnerships that benefit humanity as a whole. In the coming years, as Starship takes flight and humanity ventures further into the cosmos, we stand on the cusp of a new era of exploration and discovery. Whether it's reaching Mars, delivering critical supplies to remote regions, or safeguarding our planet for emerging threats, the possibilities are endless with Starship leading the way. As we embark on this journey, let us embrace the spirit of curiosity, cooperation, and innovation that defines our exploration of the final frontier. So, are you excited about the upcoming launch of Starship? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.